logic links or activity relationships. It is possible to have several types of relationships between activities. The most commonly used is a finish to start relationship. In this particular example, you can see two activities, activity A and activity B. Now activity A has a finish to start relationship with activity B. What it means is that activity B cannot start until its predecessor, which is activity A, has finished. For example, a wall has to be completed before it can be painted. The next type of relationship is called a start to start relationship. In the second example, you can see once again two activities, activity A and activity B. Activity B cannot start until its predecessor, activity A, has started. Another example is if a wall is very long, painting can start at completed sections before the entire length of the wall is finished. So you could literally start the activities together with a slight lag to activity B. And what I mean by lag is delaying activity B by a few days before it starts. And we'll be looking at logical relationships with lags very shortly. Next, you have a finish to finish relationship. Again, two activities. So in this particular scenario, activity B cannot finish until its predecessor, activity A, has finished. Another example, formwork to concrete cannot be removed until the concrete has cured. And finally, we have a start to finish logical relationship. Now this type of logical relationship is not very commonly used. I rarely see it, but in effect, if you look at activity A and activity B again, activity B cannot finish until its predecessor activity A has started. This might be a little difficult for you to understand, but consider this example. Say we have a newly built annex to a museum, which is activity A. Now this museum cannot open, even though it's constructed, before items from the old museum has been transferred, which is from activity B. So in effect, activity B cannot finish until its predecessor activity A has started. So these are the various types of relationships and we'll look at workshops to see how you can create these uh, types of relationships in MS Project. Okay, so let's look at finish to start relationships first. I'm just going to insert a new column for WBS codes just to keep things organized. Let's consider two simple activities, namely construct wall and paint wall. Let's indent these activities out. and zoom in a little bit. You could also adjust the zoom by using the slider at the bottom right hand corner. Let's give the construct wall activity a duration of 15 days and the paint wall 10 days. Now it's always useful to have the details pane below. So go to task and click on details and you will get uh, this pane below, which is extremely useful for managing your tasks. I normally use the predecessors and successors menu. So you can choose whatever you like, but this is the most useful as far as delay analysis is concerned. And um, there are several ways to add logical links. You can simply click and drag and the default finish to start 
relationship is added, which is what we want at the moment. Alternatively, you could just pick construct wall and pick a successor, which is paint wall. Choose a type of relationship and click OK. And you get a finish to start relationship. There's one more way you can start a finish to start relationship. Just delete that link. There's a column here for predecessors. You could insert a column for successors. And you could simply add a successor by using the task ID from this uh, section here. If I insert the number three here, MS Project automatically generates a finish to start relationship with paint wall which has got a task ID of three. So that's a finish to start relationship. Now you can also give a lag to this relationship. A lag is a slight delay which you could apply between activities. If you want to have a lag between these two activities, all you have to do is go to the task menu, the task pane, and enter the days of lag you would like. And the lag is generated by MS Project. You could also have negative lag, but that is not generally recommended. So that's how you create a finish to start relationship and a finish to start relationship with lag. Now let's look at a start to start relationship. Just going to use the same activities, copy and paste it there. So this becomes a new WBS code. And following the same principle, I'll go to my task pane, pick the second paint wall. Okay, it's probably a good idea to change the description so that you don't get confused okay now if i pick my successor it'll be paint wall 2. the type is going to be a start to start relationship click ok let's make that 15 days and 10 days so you have a simple start to start relationship between these two activities now, if you want to create a lag again, you can follow the same procedure. Add a lag in the task pane and the lag is generated automatically by MS Project. And um, you could create a start to start link by adding successors, predecessors, or by dragging between the two activities as I showed you before. But you have to remember that when you drag between two activities or you create a dragged link between two activities, you normally get a finish to start relationship as default and you will have to modify it here. So it's probably more efficient to create a link directly from the task pane. Okay, so the next logical link is a finish to finish. In order to expedite proceedings, I'm just going to copy and paste two activities and amend their names. Okay, so just to show you what happens when you click and drag As I mentioned before, you get a default finish to start relationship. So we're actually interested in a finish to finish relationship. So let's choose that option from the type menu. And there you have it. You have a finish to finish relationship. Again, you could create a lag and MS project will auto generate it for you. Um, I won't be 
looking at a start to finish logical relationship because it's rarely used and um, I think if you do actually see it in any program then there's something drastically wrong with that program. So there you have it. So these are the logical links that you will be using mainly for creating programs in MS Project. Now please do bear in mind that it is always good practice to use finish to start relationships wherever possible and uh, it's extremely useful for delay analysis. All you have to do is break down your activities into a little bit more detail so you may have more activities but if you can link them by using finish to start logical links not only is it good for your project control in terms of planning and scheduling it is also extremely useful for carrying out delay analysis. And with that we come to the end of this module.